Now, before we can actually finish row one, there's actually uh, at the end of the row, there's a special stitch that you need to do to finish it up. Um, I've just gone ahead and I've got my six stitches that are in a straight line coming towards the end. And when you get to the end of the first row, you should have two stitches or two chains left to work into. And you're actually going to go ahead and do a two double crochet decrease into these two chains. So to do that, you'll go ahead and wrap over once, put it through the first loop, pull it up, pull it through the first two, and don't finish it out. And then you'll wrap it again, put it into the final chain in the row, pull it up, pull it through two, and then go ahead and pull through all three of them on the uh, hook. So row one is done and it kind of doesn't really look it looks kind of uneven right now but the first row always looks like that it doesn't look quite right but after you do like two or three rows it'll really start to even up and take shape so to do row two first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and chain two one two and then we're going to turn and that's going to act as our first stitch on the next row and then what we're going to do is we're since that acts as our first one we're going to skip this first stitch that's right here we're going to skip that and we're going to go ahead and double crochet into the second one and we're going to do that seven times so one then in the next stitch there's two three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so now we can see that we're at the peak. We're, we're at the three stitches that make up the peak from the previous row right here because we see they're all in the same stitch. So in the next stitch is where we're going to go ahead and do our peak for this row. So we're going to do three double crochets into the same stitch. So we'll do one and then we'll go into the exact same one again. There's two and then we'll do three. Now we're ready to go ahead and go down this other side and we're gonna do six double crochets. One in each chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're ready. We can see that here, starting with this open stitch right here, these next three stitches, this one, this one, and then this one over here, those are gonna be the three that we decrease across. And we have to decrease because we increase by three over here. And so to keep the row even, we have to decrease those three in the valley. So we'll go ahead and do one, pull up, pull through two, do another one, pull up, pull through two, do a third one, pull up, pull through two. So now we got four loops on the hook, grab it and pull it through all four. And then that's the, uh, that's the stitch for that one. And so then we'll go ahead and do our six stitches. One, Whoops, I want to go through both of them. Two, and not just the front loop. Three, four, five, six. And again, here we are at the peak. There's our three stitches in the same chain in the row before. Move that up. 
And so we're going to go ahead and do our three stitches into the same stitch on this row. So there's one, two, and three. Then we'll do our six going down that side. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're in our last two stitches. And so we're gonna do our two double crochet decrease. Yarn over, go through the first stitch, pull up the yarn, pull through the first two. Yarn over again, go through the last stitch, pull up the yarn, pull through the first two, and then you're gonna pull your yarn through all three. And so that's the end of row two, so we're gonna go ahead and chain two to go up and turn. And we can see now that it's starting, the wave, the ripple is starting to take shape. It looks a little bit better than it did on the first row, and after we do, you know, several more rows, then uh, it'll actually start to look a lot better. And uh, it'll look more like a ripple and you'll be able to see a lot better. So um, there is a variation on this stitch. If you wanted to give it like a, a texture, um, like a standout texture, you could actually do these stitches in either only the front stitch or the back stitch. And so for that, basically what did you what you would do is we got our two that goes up on this side. So we're gonna skip this first stitch and we go into this one, the second one, yarn over. You can either only go into the first, into the front loop and do your stitches like that, and that'll make them pull to this side of the fabric, or you can go through only the back loop. And so if you go through the back loop just like that, oops. Then it'll push the stitches that way. You know, if you're facing the fabric this way, it'll push the stitches out the opposite direction. I personally like to keep them flat. Um, that's just my personal preference, but if you want to have like a ridge uh, or a rib in your your uh, pattern, you know, that's one alternative that you can do. Uh, if you have any other questions, just uh, leave a comment or send me an email. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.